Curriculum for Excellence is energising learning and teaching in Scotland, making it more relevant to the real world and giving young people the skills, knowledge and understanding they need to succeed. Pupils were asked to promote a Scottish product to a French-speaking country considering the needs and wants of that country and also the way in which international trade works. So it's a fairly complex task and use, uses lots of different subject areas. We chose um, Woolens to Switzerland because obviously Switzerland, Switzerland is very cold and Woolens are quite warm. Um, we chose Madagascar and bottled water because Madagascar only had 50% chance of getting to water the people there, so we thought that would be a worthy place. We chose soft drinks and iron brew because it's a Scottish product. Well, obviously, Curriculum for Excellence is looking at an interdisciplinary cross curricular approach, so it involves um, geography, English, uh, modern languages being French and religious and moral education. We gave a presentation in front of the whole class. We did the first part in French and then we did it in English and in French we just explained what our product was and who we were selling it to and in English we just did the rest. Yeah, I quite enjoyed speaking in French actually because although the lessons are like a bit boring, I enjoy speaking the language so it's good to actually use it. We started them off just kind of in a group setting task, just getting to know the other members of the group because they're, they're not working with the people they would normally work with in the classroom. They're mixed up across the whole year group. Then we introduce the task, make sure they understand, kind of go through the expectations of the task, and then they kind of take on a cooperative learning role. Figuring out how to do stuff like if, as you said, in the real world, world uh, you're going to have to do this an awful lot more when you're in groups at your job. So it's helpful if you work with other people to do this. The way that we work in as groups, it makes sure that um, more people actually have things to do because in some classes when we do things like this, there's people that just don't do anything. So this way that we're put into, like, each person has a job, um, more people get things to do, so it's, it just makes sure that everybody learns something but they're having fun as well. Timekeeper. Resource manager. Resource manager. The encourager. Timekeeper. The resource manager. The coordinator. The encourager. Timekeeping and like make sure that we were doing things on the right schedule and everything so we didn't run over time. As I say, it was the lady that kind of started off this task that kind of thought about who was local. Wrote to them, said, we're looking for your support. Would you, would you come and help us? And I think they're more than willing because it really does build great links with our community. Hey, we asked them questions and it gave us a bit more experience of, because he's like good with this stuff. And he gave us some pointers and some tips and we, and I think it made our presentation a lot better. When you evaluate it at the end and pupils talk, they, they suddenly realise that they have kind of linked together their learning from different areas. And it's not just like a project involving one subject in the classroom, it's encompassing so much more than that. And they do, and they maybe don't realise it straight away, but at the end of it, they think, we achieved quite a lot there because we really had to pull on lots of different ideas and, and different pupils brought different aspects to the task as well. And it really did build confidence within them and made them really successful in that task. To find out more, visit scotland.gov.uk slash CFE in action.